Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steve McDonald's romantic life is rekindling. Following his devastating breakup with Tracy Barlow, Steve has been making an effort to move on. Despite a previous failed relationships, Coronation Street spoilers indicate that things are improving for him now that he's met Cassie Plummer. Steve is quickly drawn to Cassie once more, particularly after their initial chemistry during a speed dating event. For more information, keep reading. Following his unexpected divorce from Tracy, his wife, Steve McDonald has found love again. Spoilers for Coronation Street indicate that the taxi driver was devastated when Tracy Barlow ended their relationship earlier this year, when he discovered she was having an affair with his former football hero. Tommy Orpington, it was a devastating blow. Fans observed Steve attempting to move on and re-enter the dating scene following the separation. It didn't work out after a string of bad dates until he finally met Demi. But now he's discovered a new love. Cassie Plummer offers to take care of Ken Barlow for a fraction of the price of a professional caregiver in the following week. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Steve reluctantly accepts this arrangement. But things are about to get really interesting soon. Even after their last fast date, Amy, Steve's daughter, senses a connection between her father and Cassie. She even informs Steve that he is denying his feelings for Cassie. Tension between the two is increasing over time. Actress Claire Sweeney, who starred in Cassie, is in favor of the two characters falling in love. Though she thinks they are a good fit, she did add that there was a spark that didn't quite take off during the speed dating event. Sweeney emphasized that the characters had comparable interests in real life because they are similar in age. Because they both like the same movies and are familiar with the same music, the stars frequently sit and talk. Do you find this love story exciting? Tell us in the space provided for comments. Actor Jacob Roberts, who plays Kit Green on Coronation Street, has revealed why he will betray his mother, Bernie Winter, in future episodes. Bernie had discovered earlier that her long-lost son was Kit, a detective who had recently made an appearance at the Cobbles. She wanted him to stay away from her other children, Gemma and Paul, so she banned him from telling them who he was. Roberts gave an explanation of Kit's revelations how and why in an interview with Inside Soap. He starts being nice to Bernie and arranges to meet up with her to discuss doing that. But it's all an act, he said. He's giving Bernie the impression that he wants to unite the family. And although he is sincere in his desire to get to know Gemma and Paul, he is acting as though he wants to mend fences with Bernie, something he is not at all interested in doing. He promises to meet her in the pub, but he leaves her waiting to tell her everything as he heads to Paul's apartment. Kit wants to share his version of events with Gemma and Paul, as well as how their mother abandoned him and concealed his presence from them. He is determined to expose Bernie's selfishness and show how much they have all missed. Kit likes to harm Bernie in the same way that she did him. He continued by saying that Kit will eventually have to come to the realization that trying to forget his mother is the only way he can move on in his life. But he doesn't think it will occur for some time. Julie Goodyear, a cast member of Coronation Street, is quite happy after her close friend Mark Llewellyn updated fans on her health while her dementia struggle. In June of last year, the 81-year-old spouse, Cot Brand, made public her illness. Before receiving a diagnosis, she struggled with several symptoms over a long period of time. Her husband broke her heart by admitting that things will grow progressively and perhaps speedily worse. A few health updates have been released by Scott and others after the announcement of her illness. Most recently, her buddy Mark, who was her late co-star Roy Barraclough's partner, joked that she still likes having afternoon tea with her pals and that she still adores Lee Pard print about her beloved Coronation Street character, Bet Lynch. He told the Conversation Street podcast 
about her condition and how frequently he visits her, Julie is actually having a great life. She still has a thing for leopard print, I'm happy to say. I spend a few hours with her and have afternoon tea in her house, which I refer to as Leopard Print Boulevard, whenever I meet her, which is at least once or occasionally twice a week. She's quite happy, according to Mark, and she frequently leaves the house. He went on, on Sundays, I take her chocolate cake and we dig in. Well, she doesn't let me have any, to be honest. She is definitely suffering from dementia, as everyone knows, yet it is inaccurate to state that someone has dementia. Rather, one must live with dementia. It alters one's capabilities and perspective on life. Julie has shown great bravery and strength in embracing that. Julie's husband, Mark, claimed in March of this year that his loving wife had declined and that her signature leopard print clothes and vibrant lipsticks had been abandoned. He explained sadly, Julie has always been extremely glamorous. She goes nowhere without her makeup. But now, the clothes, especially the leopard print ones, are uninteresting, and the lipsticks and makeup are never worn. I'm worn the fun-loving wife that Julie had always been, he continued. I miss her exuberant personality that made every place she went seem better and her grin that made every room seem brighter. Now that everything is gradually disappearing, I am going through a great deal of grief to witness this decline. The pair were married in 2007 after Scott brought some plaster to Julie's house in the greater Manchester suburb of Rochdale for renovations. When Julie joined Corey in 1966, her character quickly rose to the top of the cast's favorites until her departure in November 2003. In 1996, Julie received an MBE for her services to drama. On Friday's Coronation Street, doctors gave tragic news to Toya Battersby, dealing her two devastating blows. The character was taken to the hospital earlier this week after her brother-in-law, Nick Tilsley, discovered her at home crumpled in agony. Following their previous nights of passion behind Toya's stepsister leans back, she was given the shocking news that she was reportedly pregnant, with Nick serving as the father, while she was in the care of the medical staff. Both of them enjoyed the prospect of fatherhood after the initial shock, especially Toya, who had tried seven unsuccessful rounds of IVF in an attempt to conceive. She underwent a scan on Friday, though, and the results showed she is not actually pregnant. Toya was informed that her pregnancy test result was tampered with by a recently found tumor on her ovary, which is why it came back false positive. Toya was dealt a further blow when she was informed that a biopsy would be necessary and that the growth might be ovarian cancer. Lean left to attend a session with cult leader Rowan Cumliffe thinking it would put her in a better position to assist her sister, while Toya and Nick were still in shock. When they were by themselves, Toya and Nick confided in one another that in spite of what it would have done to Lean, they were sorry they were not parents together. Lean was absent from the scene as she was leaving for her scan, and when she got home, Toya and Nick made fun of her for being absent during Toya's time of need. Toya will now have to endure a torturous wait to learn the results of the biopsy. While she's still getting over not being a mother, is she also going to get a terrible diagnosis? As Lean gets more and more sucked into the cult, Nick was seen confessing to his brother, David Plath, that he's not sure if he still loves her. Will this situation bring Toya and him even closer? Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.